What's going down, everybody? Now, this blog going to be special because you know why? I'm doing three reviews. You count them. Uno, dos, tres. I'm doing three reviews today. I see Terminator Salvation, Dance Flick, and Night's Museum 2. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to split it back to back to back uh, to make to not make it confusing. So, I'm going to split, um, you know, three reviews, and then you guys comment. Okay? Shebang? Beautiful. Anyways, um, Terminator Salvation. The only thing that pissed me off was that everybody was complaining about it. Like, oh, yeah, it wasn't as great as the uh, second one. The second one is the second one. If you make a sequel, it's not supposed to be the same as the previous one. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? But other than that, I liked it. I don't know why people are complaining about it. But, uh, yeah, Arnold makes an appearance. But um, the, I just, I've been told that it's a CGI version of him. It looked pretty real. So, um, yeah, take my word for it. Uh, the casting was good. You know, I had Christian Bale, the blowout. You know, y'all remember the, sh the thing, you know, yeah, the little, when he got mad at um, the DP. Uh, Christian Bale, uh, Common, Bryce Dallas Howard, Moon, Moon Bloodgood, um, Linda Hamilton, and you played Sarah Connor on the first two, uh, makes a voice appearance. Not an actual appearance, but a voice appearance. They use, like, tapes from, like, the previous films on there. Um... My rating, I would give it a 4 out of 5, only because, you know, the action scenes is off the hook. But, like, the story, I was kind of, like, you know, trying to uh, pick pieces back together. Oh, yeah, and shout out to Sam Worthington, who played Marcus Wright. He, he did a good job, I think so. He's going to be a new star. Uh, now the second movie I was going to talk about, uh, uh, let's see, Dance Flick. Oh, man. If you love the Waynes Brothers, man. Check this film out. You, Wayne, I'm a Wayne's fan. You know, I've seen all their movies. You know, my favorite, my number one favorite, y'all should already know, is Don't Be a Menace While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood. Oh, uh, man. Uh, Dan Slick was cool. You know, I'll give you a hint. Um, Sean and uh, Marlon were hardly in it, though. Uh, they were just trying to, uh, I guess, um, introduce their cousins and their nephews and stuff. So it was basically their movie, not uh, Marlon and Sean, the ones that we know and love. But uh, Keenan Ivan Wayne's makes an appearance. He plays like a Steve Harvey-esque type of character. It's, it's crazy, man. I Spend your money on this one, too. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Um, and uh, last but not least, Night at the Museum 2. Night at the Museum 2, um, I didn't really you know, like the first one. But the second one, you know, I liked it. It was, it was entertaining because I like to be entertained. The first one was, like, I guess, introducing what Larry does, you know, Ben Stiller's character. You know, it's yada, 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 blah, 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 yid, 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 yid. Anyways, I'll give it a five five out of five. Well, scratch that. I'll give it a four out of five. Only because um, a couple of jokes were already played out. And, you know, some of the previews, uh, you know, when you watch previews and commercials and stuff, how they play the best. I hate when they do that. When they play the best scenes on the commercials and previews, and then when it gets to the movie, it's like, oh, we already know this joke. So, um, yeah, I'll give it a four out of five. Um... It's going to be a while for me to do uh, my next movie review, y'all, because the next movie I'm trying to see is uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, a.k.a. Transformers 2. Other than that, uh, this Sunday is the MTV Movie Awards. I need you guys to go to mtvmovieawards.com, or later I'll put the website up. I don't know the exact address, but uh, when I copy and paste it, I'll have the address for you. I need you guys to vote for Taraji P. Henson for Best Female and Bob A. J. Thompson for uh, Best Breakthrough Male. I mean, you know, Taraji should have had this Oscar this year. You know, the Academy Awards of uh, 09. I just think that she got um, rigged or whatever. She should have it. So, without Oscars, you know, give her an MTV Movie Award. So, I need you guys' help, too, to vote. So, you know, y'all you, my fans. and You guys love me so much, you know. You guys do the same thing as uh, me. So, uh, without further ado, y'all, uh, stay tuned to my blogs. Um... Uh, go out to the movies, man. I, I'll give you guys my critics, my critical reviews. So, uh, take my word for it. You don't have to take my word for it. It's whatever. You know, it's your money. But I would say go see it. But uh, other than that, y'all, peace, deuces, and God bless.